Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Dong Report, where I give out my favorite MLB home run picks of the day. My name is Matt Modai with Jedi Modai Sports Network. You can find me on pretty much all social medias at Jedi Modai. As for today, I have three players that I love to hit a home run for today, Saturday, September 16th. Before we can get into those, we do need to do a recap from yesterday. I gave, I gave out another three picks on this YouTube channel. We got one of those three to cash. Thank you to Pete Alonzo. We end the day with a slight profit of 1.50 units, which will take, will always take a profitable day. That now makes it four straight profitable days on the Dong Report, which brings our total profit uh, from season to date up to 76.25 units or 13.56% ROI. Obviously, I don't need to tell you how incredible that success is. <laughs> 76 units, 13% ROI, unheard of numbers in sports betting. So hopefully we can keep it up for the last couple weeks of the MLB season. As I mentioned, I have three more home run picks for you guys today. Real quick, if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's chat dongs. So play number one in the Dodgers versus Mariners game. We are going to ride with Max Muncy to hit a home run. This is at plus 290 odds at FanDuel. So Muncy is a player that we have gone with a lot. He's also come through he's also come through for us a lot as well. He was on the uh the, the slate last week, literally a week ago today actually where we hit all three. Muncy was the third and final hit. Uh this game being played at Mariners Stadium is generally positive for home runs to be hit, but it's not one of the juiciest weather games of the slate and this is all looking at uh, ballpark pal which analyzes a ton of data like wind direction ballpark dimensions all that stuff to decide uh, how conducive uh, a stadium is with the weather for home runs to be hit but regardless regardless of that it's i'm not scared off of the weather they'll stay it like that and muncie has been playing well recently he's got three home runs in his past six games alone with a total of 35 on the year with muncie it's pretty the strategy with him is pretty simple you want to target him when he's facing right-handed pitching, and you want to leave him alone when he's facing left-handed pitching. And you guessed it, today he is going up against a right-handed pitcher. So looking at his ISO rate, ISO rate stands for isolated power if you're new to this channel. Um, anything 25% and above for ISO rate is excellent. Anything 20% 20, uh, 20 is great. So Max Muncy's ISO rate against left-handed pitching is 24.4%, which is great. Not bad at all. Against right-handed pitching, that number jumps all the way up to 30.5%. That's a pretty massive difference between lefties and righties. So you want to target him when he's going up against righties. Um, he's also been playing well recently, as I mentioned, looking at his ISO rate in the past month against right-handed pitching specifically is 34.4%. And then if you isolate the past two weeks against right-handed pitching, it's up to 45%. So recent success that we love. The Mariners... Pitching Bryce uh, Miller, as I mentioned, Max Muncy does have the advantage against him. He should mash one, cashing our first play of this evening. Next up in the Phillies versus Cardinals game, let's ride with Trey Turner to hit a home run at plus 520 odds at FanDuel. Trey Turner is an easy sell at this point. We all know how just ridiculously on fire he's been. Uh, he's got five home runs in his past 10 games. And he's increased his batting average to where it now sits at uh, 270. That might not sound that good, a 270 batting average. But when you consider he was in like the 230s before this streak started, it's it, then you kind of realize just how impressive he's been in the past you know, month or so, six weeks. This is another game where the weather isn't the best uh, by any means. It's worse than the Dodgers-Mariners one. But I do like Trey even with that fact. The reason why I'm on him, obviously aside from how on fire he's been, is because of the pitching matchup. The Cardinals are pitching Miles Mikolas on the mound, not a very good pitcher. And according to Ballpark Pal, this is an extreme advantage in favor of Trey Turner. Literally the highest advantage a batter can have against the pitcher. 10 out of 10 advantage that Trey Turner has over the pitcher. And Ballpark Pal, they look at a ton of different stuff for this as well. What types of pitches does the batter hit well? What type of pitches does the pitcher throw? Looks at um, all that to come up with, okay, who has the advantage here? And like I said, Trey Turner has the extreme advantage. Speaking of how hot Trey Turner has been, in the past two weeks alone, his ISO rate is 40.4%. That's sixth highest in the MLB in that span. 
confident Trey Turner is going to come through for us tonight, cashing our second play. And last up, third pick of the evening in the Tigers versus Angels game. Give me Spencer Torkelson to hit a home run plus 350 odds at FanDuel. So Torque is someone that we've had success with before, uh, along with Trey Turner and Max Muncy. Not that that's only the reason why I'm choosing these players. It's just nice for that to have happened. Um, but we did, hit, so he hit two home runs on September 7th last week. We pegged him as a double dong watch on that day. So we cashed out like plus 3,400 on him hitting two home runs. It was beautiful. Overall, including that two home run day, he's got three home runs in his past 10 games, and he just went yard a couple days ago on the uh, September 13th against the Reds. Finally, this is one of the better weather games. This is a juicy one. This is definitely a game that you want to target. It's also a juicy pitching matchup with the uh, Angels pitching Tyler Anderson on the mound, who is not a good pitcher, and he's also a lefty. And the discrepancy from Spencer Torkelson between right-handed pitching and left-handed pitching is crazy. He, you definitely want to target him against lefties. And listen to these numbers. So on the entire year, pretty decent sample size. His ISO rate against right-handed pitching is 19.1%. That is below the great threshold. Against left-handed pitching, that number jumps all the way up to 29.4%. It's literally the difference between a below average power number and an excellent power number. 29.4% is pretty good. He's also just got some absurd stats against lefties recently that I have to share with you. So in the past month, past month against left-handed pitching, his ISO rate is 62.5%. That's crazy. Looking at the past two weeks against left-handed pitching, it jumps all the way up to 87.5%. Basically, when he gets contact against a left-handed pitcher in the past two weeks, he crushes it. He sends it yard. Now, these are small sample sizes, so you obviously need to take them with a little bit of a grain of salt. It just goes to show you just how good he's been against left-handed pitching recently. So a ton of factors in favor of Spencer, Tor Spencer Torkelson. I am officially putting him on double dong watch today. Let's hope he can do it again. Cashing our third and final play for this evening. I do have one honorable mention for you guys as well. Brandon Drury, as you see on the screen here. Four honorable mentions, they're players that don't get tracked whether they uh, hit one or don't. I've, I've gotten a couple to hit, so the success is there. Not someone that I wanted to go with officially, but still someone that I liked. So Brandon Drury is an option there. But in terms of the three official players on Dong Watch, I put one unit or as much as FanDuel will allow me because of these stupid limits on each player individually. And then I put five bucks in a parlay. Based on the odds, if one of these three hits a home run, we will be profitable. If all three hit a home run, we'll be rich. If all three hit a home run and Spencer Torkelson double dongs one, we'll be super rich. So let's hope for that. Again, if you're tailing, comment in, let me know. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not already. And then, of course, like the video. All that stuff helps me out a ton as I attempt to grow this little channel. And regardless, I appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.